Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's me, Surf. For today's video, I have a glossy box unboxing because it is August and we haven't done one yet. Before we start, I just want to say I know I look like a little bit of a train wreck, but can we just appreciate that it is so hot at the moment and so muggy and the last thing I wanted to do was to cake my face in makeup. I'm just gonna spray my face quickly. But yeah, the last thing I wanted was to cake myself in makeup. So unfortunately, you have bare face me for this video. Um, I hope it doesn't offend anyone. <laughs> do you know what? Let's get right on into it. This month was the Glossy Box birthday. So August is their birthday time. So we have a slightly different box and it's like a gift. And it's all jazzy because it's their birthday. So I'm hoping it's got some really nice things inside. I'm pretty sure I read that there was a Huda Beauty lipstick or something in there. So we will have to see. So obviously we have the booklet that... <gasps> I'm sorry, I just saw it on the back. They've got that advent calendar stuff. I am so excited. Um, but yeah, so because it's their birthday edition, we've got the same print as the box on the front here. And obviously inside where it tells us about the goodies and on the back is a sneak peek but I'll get to that at the end so the first thing I see is a is a molten brown London delicious rhubarb and rose bath and shower gel it looks really pretty I've been really getting into having baths again since I had that lush subscription box that I showed you guys before oh my god this smells absolutely incredible I love it. I am a massive fan of the rhubarb and custard sweets and that is exactly what that smells like. Now that my hair is up and out of my face, let's carry on. The second thing I see is this box by Brushworks and it's, it's the HD Wonder Complexion Sponge. Versatile blending sponge, 3-in-1 design, latex free material box is recyclable so I'm assuming that's what the box looks like I'm assuming it's just a beauty sponge yes I am always down to try new sponges because I cannot for the life of me clean mine so I just use a new one but I genuinely like I have ones that I do prefer but then they get so grubby and I'm like I can't use you on my face anymore but then I don't know how to wash them because every time I try something that I've seen online, it does not work. So I've actually got sponges that are dyed blue and they're some of my favourite sponges, which is really sad. But this is just a beauty sponge, kind of similar to the Glossy Box one actually, and it's got the flat edge and the pointy top. It feels quite firm at the moment, but obviously you can't really tell what they're like until you um, put them in water. So, ooh, okay. So if you didn't know, Glossy Boxes have launched, Glossy Boxes? Glossy Box have launched their own skincare range, which is super cool. It's super cool and I haven't tried anything yet. I haven't ordered anything, but in this box, cause it came out the same month, the skincare was launched this month as well. In this box, I have the Eye Boost Cream. Reduce the appearance of dark circles, puff and puffiness. Um, and it just comes... I'm going to assume that this is a full size because eye creams don't tend to be that large anyway because you only need a little bit of product because it's just for under here. Um, it says on the back, glossy routine. After Use after one of our cleansers, then follow up with one of our three-in-one moisturisers in the morning and our night serum in the evening so the box is recyclable it's cruelty free morning and night use the nozzle to apply three dots to the eye area gently pat the product under your eye and upwards towards your temples so you literally go dot 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 and then you just pat like that up to here and that's it so that's really cool i'm excited to try this i do want to try some more of their other products but i just haven't got any yet so it is quite so it's quite a small tube, but like I said, you don't need any, so this would probably last you a little while. You get 15 mils. So that's a little glimpse of their skincare. So that's three out of five products so far. Next, but there we go. So next we have a Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Shiro. Like Hero, but with capital She at the beginning. So it's this nice sort of 
movie nude i will just quickly swatch for you guys i've never had obviously obviously i have that um i think it was a gloss that we got in one of the other ones but i've never had a lipstick in this formula by huda beauty before i do have one of the her matte lipsticks so this is the shade right here it's actually a really pretty shade and i can imagine me wearing it quite often to be fair super pretty and it's demi matte so it doesn't dry down fully but it does dry down a little bit the last one i can't find oh, is a steve laurent steve laurent oh lip liner don't unfortunately it doesn't look like i can get it out for starters so the actual pencil itself is this brown color but i think they might all come in that color and then the actual shade is that colour and it is the shade Vogue and it what would have been cool is if they had matched the lip liners with the lipsticks that you got but it doesn't look like they've done that one not for me at least so it did actually feel the tip is quite sharp but it did feel quite creamy and not like I had to really harshly rub it on my hand however this here is the shade of the lips pencil and obviously this is the Huda Beauty um liquid lip so they don't, they do not match, but that's okay because I'm sure I do have lipsticks that match this crown, which is great. So I can find something that works for me. Just a quick recap. We got the Glossy Box Eye Cream. We got this gorgeous uh, Molten Brown Shower Gel. I feel like Conrad is probably going to be obsessed with this one because I am obsessed with it and he loves nice scents. We got the Huda Beauty Lip, Liquid Lip. We got the Sponge. And we got the pencil. So these are our five products. Now let's see how much our box is worth. So we know I go through everything with you guys and then go through this booklet to see how much our box is worth so you can find out how much you are saving. This booklet actually has a little bit about the skincare range. So this is their full range here. Lots of goodies, lots of products. So you got the eye boost cream, which is what I got. The three-in-one moisturizer, a hydrating mist, a daily micellar gel, gel cleanser, an exfoliating clay scrub, a night serum, a purifying charcoal cleanser, some gentle foaming cleanser, three-in-one rich moisturizer, and a deeply cleansing cream. As expected, the um, eye cream is full size, and it actually looks like everything we got is full size. Oh, apart from the Molten Brown, that is a deluxe mini. So, the eye cream is worth uh, £20, but if you're a subscriber, you pay £16. So, that little tube is actually £16. The Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick is £18. The sponge is worth £5.49. The deluxe mini of the Molten Brown Shower Gel is worth £7.33. And the Vogue lip liner is worth £12. So that makes it worth about £58. So that is not bad considering you pay between £8 and £10 for... Uh, £10 and £12, sorry, for the box. Um, so you're getting about five times the price that you pay. So once again, you got much better value than what you're paying for. And everything is full size except this one. I wish it was full size and I will probably buy the full size one. Because it smells so good, you guys. And just while you are here as well, I would like to say that I am now a body shield consultant. So I will be sharing lots of info. And if you have any questions about products from the body shop, I am happy to answer. You can also order through me. You don't have to. But you can also order through me. I often have 10% off and stuff. So you can get 10% off your products. But for that, you need to join my Facebook page, which I will leave in the description. But other than that, let's get on into the next part of the booklet. So the sneak peek for September is, next month we're offering you the ultimate relaxing experiment. Experiment? Oh my god. Experience filled with luscious skincare and revitalizing treatments. Your September box will allow you to create your very own at-home spa. Among the five incredible products awaiting for you is a luxurious moisturiser by Avant Skincare that is worth £89. You don't want to miss out. 
So I've had a lot of Avon skincare products and they are actually quite good. I didn't know that they were that expensive. Pretty good when you only pay like 10 to 12 pounds for your box. And then, the bit that I was getting really excited about at the beginning, we have a sneak peek at our glossy advent calendar. I can already tell <laughs> that I am obsessed and I pray that I get my hands on it because wow it just says our advent calendar is back enjoy an exclusive subscriber price of 80 pounds and priority access from tuesday the 8th of september it features 25 of the hottest makeup skincare and hair care products you've always wanted to try from some of the most iconic brands out there and then underneath it's got examples which are huda beauty iconic london and lime crime three names that i'm already super interested in trying oh my god <laughs> i didn't know it was coming out that soon i've had emails about it and i hadn't looked in this box since i got it because i wanted to film it for you guys and obviously connor's been getting emails because my account is actually through him but i didn't know that it was coming this soon like i knew it was coming but I didn't know it's coming that soon. And also the advent calendars are coming on the 25th so of this month. So it's literally boom, then boom. And oh my god, I am so, can you tell? I am so excited and I don't know whether I'm going to unbox it all on my channel or if I'm going to unbox it daily on my Instagram or whatever, because I felt like when I got it last time, so many people did actually, so many people had already unboxed the glossy box and I didn't want to bore people because they are pretty much all the same as far as I can tell. Maybe like some things you get different shades, but they do make them all the same. It's not like everyone gets something different. So I don't want to bore you guys with an unboxing. And I also want something to unbox through the month as well but i will unbox it if you know if somebody wants me to i might do one as a giveaway i might 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 because it's going to cost a lot to ship and i'm not a big youtuber so i don't get much money oh, well, i don't get any money from youtube so i have to do any giveaways and stuff that i do through youtube i do out of my own pocket and i have to send with my own money that box would be quite a lot of money to send however if I feel nice, if it's not limited to one per person, I might get one. But we'll have to wait and see. If not, you'll have to look out on YouTube for other people showing you what's inside before it's uh, launched. So you can have a look. But they do also normally do a Christmas limited edition box, which I do normally give away. Well, I gave away last time. And they also have a special Christmas subscription box. So you won't miss out too much... I hope you didn't hear my belly. You won't miss out too much if you do miss out on the uh, advent calendar because there's lots of goodies to come, I'm sure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The liking helps me so much. It helps me be shown to more people. So if you could like it, please do. Um, we are trying to grow. I wanted to get to a thousand by the end of the year, which is not going to happen. But I would like to at least go up another 100 by the end of the year and help our little viewing family grow. I hope, I know I've been pretty hit and miss, but I've been working like crazy to appear because I am trying. I am going to come up with some more spooky content as well because I know that some people wait specifically for the spooky content and that's fine, I get that, I get that. And there's some that are here just for Sims and I get that. I have like three Sims videos ready to go, but I just need to edit, so. On that note, Bye, guys.